Thank you for logging into the weekly download for the week of Monday, November 1st through Friday the 5th. Hello, I'm Mr. Andrews. And I'm Mr. Cotterman. And here's what's happening on our team this week. Hello, Colorado and Paul Hill families. I hope you're up to excellent things this weekend and you're going to have a blast. Can't wait to hear about everything that your kids did when I see them on Monday. But I know there's a couple of Braves fans out there too. Hopefully, there's a lot of excitement when I do see you. I know we've got a couple of kids even going to a World Series game, so hopefully that's going to be good news. This week in math, we're going to continue with our division, and we're going to focus on three- and four-digit dividends dividing by two-digit divisors. And we're going to really focus on making sure there's reasonableness when we're doing these standard algorithms. That whatever answer that we get, that it makes sense to get that answer. And if we don't get one that does make sense, we're going back or figuring out why. And then we're going to calculate or check. But when we do calculate or check, that is not to go ahead and just rewrite the right answer. That's to figure out what we that we did something wrong and for us to go find out what we did wrong. If there's anything this week that your child has any type of issues on, they can go to the Great Minds. They can watch the Eureka videos, especially for that extra help with homework. Or you can reach out to me through Remind and ask me a question, and I'll do my very best to respond, either with a picture, quick video, or just a message. All right, if you guys need anything, make sure you let me know, and I hope you're having an amazing time. I'm going to toss it back to Mr. Andrews. Hello, fifth grade parents and fifth graders. This week in ELA and social studies, we're going to continue with our core novel, Pinocchio. The students have learned very quickly this is not Disney's adaptation. What a horrible adaptation. Nor is it for kindergartner, first grade, or second graders. This is a preteen and older novel. And we're learning a lot about character education, but more importantly, we're learning, we're learning about how to pick symbolism out of a novel and apply it. And so this has been a lot of fun. I think the students are really enjoying this. So please ask your student about the novel Pinocchio that we're reading and uh, some of the things that we've learned as far as symbolism and imagery are concerned. In social studies, we are in the middle of election season in Colorado and in Paulville. This past week, we had our primary election on Friday, and we have the results here on this weekly download somewhere. Keep looking for it, and uh, we'll be giving you those results. Both the Bison and Buffalo parties have selected their nominee for the president of Colorado. And in Paulville, the cat and dog parties have also, on Friday, selected their uh, nominees for president of Paulville United. So this week, we have in store a debate between the candidates where they're going to be able to discuss the issues that concern fifth grade, that concern Colorado, and Paulville, respectively, and uh, how they're going to lead in making good, positive changes to make both of those classrooms the absolute best place to learn at Northern Elementary School. So uh, looking forward to our debates this week, and the election is scheduled for Tuesday, November 9th. So be there, make sure you have your voter registration cards available and ready so you can be part of that process. Where is Mr. Andrews? He's in the U.S. He's at a capital. Which one will we learn about this week? This week we're taking off and we're covering the election results of yesterday's primary or Friday's primary, depending on when you watch this uh, weekly download. But most of you, I have a feeling, are watching on Saturday. Here are the results from Paulville United first, and then we'll hear from the benevolent dictator of Colorado, Mr. Cotterman and himself, and he'll be sharing the results from Colorado. So in Paulville United, we actually had sort of an anomaly as far as Paulville elections go. We actually had a party that had a candidate running unopposed. And this is not that terribly unusual in the real world. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, sometimes you can have uh, seats or positions where there is uh, from a party no one contending and that person still goes through the primary 
but uh, doesn't really fi face an opponent until the general election. So in Paulville United, the dog party, Lincoln was the unopposed candidate and Lincoln will be um, going against the cat nominee. Now in the cat party, we had seven or six different candidates that were uh, vying for the nomination from the cat party. And boy, was it ever a close race. Uh, out of the uh, candidates who had the courage to stand out and say, hey, I wanna take a leadership position. I wanna give some major kudos to uh, Evan and Matthew and Jackson, Nolan, Parker, Mackenzie, and Madison. Those students stood out. They said, you know what? I wanna make a difference. I wanna be a leader and I definitely wanna give them uh, a silent cheer right now for doing such a great job in their campaign. I think their speeches were well organized, they had great ideas, and you made a difference in your party. But when it came down to our vote yesterday, our winner won by one vote. So as it runs down, uh, Evan received a vote, Nolan received two votes, Parker two votes, Madison received four votes, Five votes went to McKenzie. So McKenzie is going to be representing the CAT party in the general election. On Thursday of this week, it'll be McKenzie and Lincoln, and they're going to have an opportunity with Mrs. Weeks coming in to be our class moderator for that debate. Students in our classroom are all going to be able to listen to their responses to questions that concern Paulville United. So congratulations, Mackenzie, and all of the cat party. And Lincoln, congratulations for representing the dogs. We look forward to seeing the debate. Now for Mr. Cotterman. I'm here today to give you excellent news and praise about our elections that just took place. I'm extremely happy with the participation that we had, that you got to go through the experience for those of you who wrote speeches and ran and presented your speeches and your opinions, and also for those of you who voted and were able to be a part of that part of the process as well. I think it was an amazing event. I'm really excited for our country of Colorado and for the things that are gonna happen in the future. So for right now, I just wanna give an awesome shout out for everyone who, who participated from the Buffalo Party and the Bison Party in our primaries. I know we had Tyson, Chloe, Sanaa and Jacob, and also Ella and Harper. I watched your speeches just like everybody else when it came out on last week's weekly download. I'm so impressed with the way that we carried out our thoughts and our ideas. And I'm really happy to be able to talk today about who is going to be representing each party in our general election which is gonna be taking place next week. It was a really tightly contested race in both parties and everybody should be super proud of what they did. It was really super close. So in the end though, we do have our representatives and in the Buffalo party, we're gonna have our representative in the general election is gonna be Mr. Tyson Patrick. Congratulations, Tyson. Excellent job. Looking forward to you in your general election speech and to see if you're gonna be the next president of Colorado. We'll see. And from the Bison Party, who's gonna be representing us in another super close vote is gonna be Ella. Ella, you are going to go ahead and represent the Bison Party in the general election. Congratulations, and I can't wait to see this debate that's going to happen next week between Tyson and Ella. All right, the stage is set and we're ready to go. Let's see who's going to be the leader in our Colorado. This is Mr. Cotterman, your benevolent dictator, signing off. I'll see everybody at school on Monday. All right, good luck, and thank you for participating in our election process. Congratulations everyone in Paulville United and in Colorado. I'm looking forward to our debates on Thursday and our candidates. Students are gonna get a chance to hear just how they feel on the issues. Remember, in a general election, you can vote for either party. You're going for the best candidate. So. 
Tuesday, November 9th is election day and Thursday of this week, we have our debate scheduled. So looking forward to it. Let's have a great week together.